Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. That is Kendra. She's being annoying. Um, let's get on with the topic of this video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at this book. And yes, I know it's kind of shiny. This is Brightly Woven. This is a graphic novel. It's adapted by... Um, the author is Alexandra Brecken. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. It was adapted by Lee Dragoon, and the art was by Kit Seton. So this is kind of an interesting fantasy um, graphic novel, obviously. I'm assuming it's a regular novel um, as well. I'm assuming this is actually part of a series. I could be wrong. Oh. Uh, a young girl is out playing with her brothers and her friend, and it starts to rain. I mean, they've had a drought for a long time. So they ran to, run to get buckets and to get rain. And then this young wizard shows up. And he's trying to get a message to the capital to stop a war. Um, and so, and they... Also, he also needs some of his magical cloaks fixed. And turns out this young girl, what is her name? Sidel. Um, and North, Wayland North is the um, the young wizard. He's actually only 15. She's 14. <laughs> so they're both very, very young. And she's a really good weaver. And he's being chased by people who, basically soldiers who do not want want him to stop this war. So he ends up kind of kidnapping her. <laughs> like, I need your help. And yeah, she's not happy about this. But she goes with him. They're periodically chased. Um, they interact with some of his friends. Uh, they interact with his rival who's actually trying to stop him. And does some nasty stuff, and eventually they reach the capital. And at this point, it comes to her realization that she is magical herself. She just, she glows with it. She doesn't know how to control it, but she glows. She literally can affect magic itself rather than spells. So, and people have a tendency to use people like her. Um, I can't remember what they were called um, in this. Let's see if I can switch to this. This is done very, very well. So these are some of the graphic novel pictures. They're very, 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 very well done. Um, let me see if I can. So. so let's see. She's yelling at him. Talisman. I think they're, she called it, she's called a, a jinx. I think she figures this out in one of his books. Where she comes to realize that she caused the drought. She caused the rain. She occasionally causes snowstorms. Um, and she's called a jinx. So they finally reach the capital. Turns out the head sorceress is his, is, um, his Wayland North's mother. She obviously has a guard with her who for some reason can't stand him. Um, and basically her, at this point, Sidel realizes that his grandmother, his mother would want to use her. And she ends up actually being kidnapped by his rival and brought to the other kingdom they're about to go because the reason they would go to war is because supposedly they hmm, the king was assassinated by this foreign power when it was actually he was actually poisoned by this rival of uh, Wayland's and Wayland West and I recognized it because this guy tried to use it on her on him on Wayland at one point in time let me see if I can pull up his name Pull his name up here. She also looks like their main goddess. Add, add to that. Let's 
gosh, he nearly gets killed. I still think she's a god. Let me see if I can find out. Dorwin is his name. And basically what happens is they nearly get killed and she brings a snowstorm down on people. And uh, after Waylon shows up. So, because she realizes, yeah, I can do this. So they end up going back home and presenting a tree because obviously the king of these other country realizes just how powerful she is and how pissed off she is. So they get a signed, basically, treaty from the other king and puts an end to this war, which obviously pisses a bunch of people off. And the sorceress asks, what do you want? She's like, I want to learn how to control my power and not be used. And so her and Wayland. Now, the other thing that I forgot to mention is Wayland, there is a curse set on his family, uh, the male members of his family. I don't think it's fully explained in the graphic novel. They might go into a lot more detail in the actual book. Um, but they're trying to find a, basically that kills various members of the male line. And so at the end of the book, they're going off to find these this old library to figure out what's going on. And they bring along, I think, one of his friends whose name I will discover here. So, let me see. Owen, or Owen, it's spelled with an A-I. Um, so he comes along. So it's the three of them. She makes him a cloak made out of equally all the magic colors, and he gets her a loom, because again, she's a weaver. So this is a really good book, the um, great, great graphic novel. I will see if there's, if there's a series, I will probably read through it when I have time um, and present it to you. Hmm. <sighs> 8.04, my child did not go to bed until about 7.30, and she's four at this point. Um, by the time that you read this, see this, she will be four and a half. She's a four and a half year old little girl who has a heck of a lot of energy. A heck of a lot of energy. So she's exhausted. Nonetheless, fantastic, fantastic book. Um, highly recommend it to fantasy, uh, fantasy lovers, myself included. Um, this is in children's for some reason. Um, but I'm guessing the age reign we're gonna, we're, I don't know why it's in children's and not in teen. Uh, th there's nothing outward. Oh, very sorry about all the yawning again, small child, <laughs> but, um, it would fit kind of in children's because there's nothing overt in this, in romance or anything, um, though they are teenagers. So depending on your kids, I mean, obviously the graphic novels easier can draw, well, that doesn't mess up the audio here, uh, but um, the, the age range that this would, book would relate to, because again, this is fiction, um, is probably going to be teenagers. Uh, maybe preteens. I don't know if it would uh, recommend it for younger kids, uh, just because I don't know if they can relate. But it's definitely going to be at bare minimum, late middle school and up. Sorry, not late middle. Late elementary school and up, depending. Um, again, can bra. Stop scent marking my hand. And yes, that's what she's doing. She's rubbing her cheek upon me. So, um, that's really the end of this review. Uh, if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a positive comment if you have one. I have a lot more coming, um, preferably without the inter uh, being harassed by this 14-year-old uh, cat here. Um, hi, Kendra. Um, yes, she's sweet. She's also very, very vicious when she wants to be because cat. Um, this is 
January. Um, I'm filming this in August, August 5th, precisely. <laughs> um, so, uh, cat. Yes, she, she, she's a, she's a very much annoying. Uh, book series wise this year, I have Animorphs. I have the Bears of the Ice, which is Catherine Lassie, which is finishing off of the Guardians of Gahul and the Wolves of Beyond, which I covered, um, in 2023, uh, then I'm doing Anne of Green Gables. That is actually overlapping a little bit with my quick overview of Animorphs. It's a Animorphs is a huge series. I could not read them all. I ended up summarizing a bunch of stuff um, because I needed to get stuff done. So I am covering all of the Anne of Green Gables books. That's going through even the short stories. I'm covering the films, all four of them for Sullivan. I'm actually covering the Avonlea. Uh, Road to Avonlea TV series as well. Um, I am working on that. I have to get through the first season. I've gone through the first two episodes of the first season. Um, so then I'm doing the boxcar children and then I'm doing Wings of Fire. So that's the book series. This month I'm doing some interesting, obviously this is a book on weaving uh, as well as I'm doing some sword craft and some kind of more unique hobbies. Next month, February, Black History Month. March is Women's History Month. Normally, I would cover, actually, Irish History Month, which is what I've done in the past, but this year, I'm doing Women's History Month. Then I'm covering the Titanic in April because I want to. Then I'm doing Asian History Month, focusing on Angel Island. Immigration is coming in June, focusing on Ellis Island. Then July, ah, cat, July, uh, Women Inventors. August, I'm covering food. September, I'm doing a deep dive into Beauty and the Beast, which is my daughter's favorite princess. Um, she actually likes live action because she likes the beast. Uh, she thinks he's scary. She's four. <laughs> so we've watched the live action many times. Um, but I have done something very similar to Cinderella, where I do cover the films, the live action, the original stories um, for those. Kendra, do not mess around with that book. Anna Green Gables is sitting here. Um, so what was I doing? Uh, September. October, I'm doing space. November, I'm doing the Hindu festival of Diwali. And then December, I'm doing mysteries. So that is what is coming. So again, leave a positive comment. If you have one, like and subscribe. Check out my videos. I have a bunch of stuff that you can check out. More Black History Month. Irish History Month. I've done Asian History Month multiple times. Um, I've had LGBTQ stuff as well, um, as well as a few travel videos. So check out what I've got. Thank you.